Hello everyone, I am Saujanya. In this video, I discuss about linked list data structure. Before going to start linked list, we need to know about what is list. List data structure is a sequential set of elements to which we can add the elements, we can remove the elements, we can change the existing one also. Here, I want to arrange the list of names according to the first letter of their names. Here we have list of names Ramya, Anshi, Soumya, Cherry. We need to arrange these names in sequential order that too according to the first letter of their names. This is an order list after arranging all the names in sequential order and according to the first letter of their names. Now the question is how to arrange these names in a memory. In order to maintain a list in a memory, there are two ways. The first one is arrays and other one is linked list. Basically, these two are the data structures. We have already seen arrays data structure in C language. Now we will discuss a linked list data structure. So what is linked list? Linked list is a linear data structure which consists of a collection of nodes. Simply we can say that linked list is a collection of nodes. Each node consists of two parts. The first part is a data part, another one is a link part. Here we have a pictorial representation of a node. It consists of two parts. One is data part, another one is link part. Data part contains the actual data and link part contains the address of the next node. This is how we can represent the node. Now we will see representation of linked list. Here we have a list of elements 23, 54 and 90. I want to arrange these list of numbers in a linked list. For this purpose, I need to create three nodes. Each node consists of data part and link part. In that, I am going to arranging the numbers accordingly 23, 54, 90. In the first node, we have the element 23. In the second node, we have the element 54. In the third node, we have the element 90. Here, I am assuming the addresses 1000, 5000, 4000 accordingly. In the first node, I have an address 5000, which is the address of the second node. That means the first node is pointing to the second node. In the second node, I have the address 4000, which is address of the third node. Second node is pointing to the third node. In the third node, we have a null. That means it is end of the list. It is not pointing to the any other node. Yes, we have a data address. Then how we can connect these nodes? By using these arrows. Now, there is a link between each and every node. Now, from the first node, I can easily reach the second node. From the second node, I can easily reach the third node. Now, the question is how to reach the first node. If you have the first node address, we can easily reach the first node. But where we can store this first node address? For this purpose, we need one pointer that is head. Here I am giving the name for this pointer is head. In this head pointer, I am storing the first node address. And I am giving the link to the first node. Now I can easily reach the first node. Head pointer consists of the first node address. From this, I can reach the first node. From the first node, I can easily reach the second node. From the second node, I can easily reach the third node. With the link part, we can connect the two nodes. This is how the linked list can be represented. Now, why we need to use linked list? We have an array data structure. This array data structure is also used to store the list of elements in sequential manner. Instead of arrays, why we need to go for the linked list? Arrays have some limitations. 
Now let us understand what are the limitations of the arrays. The size of the arrays. Now the next, next limitation is inserting new element into an array is expensive. So these two are the main disadvantages of arrays. Now how the linked list overcome these disadvantages? In linked list, we can represent the data dynamically, dynamic size. That means we can increase the size, we can decrease the size according to our requirement. No need to give the size in advance. Next, ease of insertion and deletion. We can insert or delete the elements in anywhere in the list. That means we can insert at the beginning, we can insert at the end, at given position also we can insert. Now let us understand disadvantages of linked list. Random access is not allowed. In case of arrays, random access is easy based on the index. Coming to the linked list, random access is not allowed. Why? Because based on index, we can access the elements in array. But coming to the linked list, we need to suppose if I here we have three nodes in the list. If I want to access the third node from the list, I need to traverse first node and from the first node I need to traverse second node, then I can reach the third node. There is a time consuming process. So random access is not allowed in the linked list. Next one, extra memory space for a pointer is required with each element of the list. In the node, we have two parts, one is data part and another one is link part. Here we required one more space for the pointer. These two are the disadvantages of a linked list. Now let us see the different types of linked list. The first one is single linked list. In this single linked list, it is also a collection of nodes. The navigation is forward direction only. That means we can go in forward direction. Second type is a double linked list. In this, uh, we can move in forward direction as well as in backward direction also. Next one is circular linked list. The last element will be connected with the first element. That means it forms a circle. That's why we are saying the circular linked list. The uh, last element will be connected with the first element. Now let us see different operations which we can perform on linked list. Traversal, insertion, deletion, search. These are the uh, different operations which we, we can perform on linked list. The first one is traversal. Traversal is used to access the elements from the list. And coming to the insertion, this operation is used to add a new element to the list in anywhere in the list. Deletion operation is used to remove the element from the uh, list. The last one, search. We can search, we can find out the element from the list. These are the different operations which we can perform on linked list.